Today we're going to take our 1997 Forerunner, and it's a two-wheel drive version. We're going to take apart the rear brakes. It has about 170,000 miles on it, more or less. And we've never taken apart the rear brakes and replaced the shoes. So I bought myself a pair of shoes from uh, Toyota. I always use genuine Toyota parts. So I have the shoes here, and these are part number 04495-35230. We um, also have some special wrenches for the brake line. I don't use these very often, hence the reason they're all frozen in there. So we're gonna need that when we bleed the brakes. Jacks, um, jack stands, some alcohol, some liquid wrench, various items such as uh, um, measuring micrometers so we can measure the thickness of the old um, brake shoes. Definitely need a dust mask because this is going to be nasty. Some brake clean, brake parts cleaner. Something to put the uh, old brake fluid in. We're going to need some wheel chocks because we're not going to have the parking brake on. You'll never get those brake hubs off if you have the parking brake on. Word of warning. Okay, uh, a bucket to catch any materials from that. Some gloves. Of course, safety glasses, because we're going to be working with some springs. Torque wrench uh, for the lug nuts. I always torque them. Um, heavy duty spring removal tool. And of course, the Toyota jack. So what we're going to do here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the lug nuts while the car is not jacked up. We're just going to barely loosen them so that we can get them off. Then we're going to jack it up and put the rear on jack stands. We're going to use two additional jacks just to make sure we have plenty of support. And then we're going to pull the rear wheels off. And when we get to that point, we'll come right back. All right, we have the wheels off now and we have two jack stands on the rear axle, one on each side. We have a jack in the center just to be extra cautious. And then the stock Toyota jack is on the driver's side just to make sure nothing can fall or happen to us. We have the wheels chalked properly. We also put the uh, tires underneath just in case anything was to fall. I uh, don't want to get hurt. So now we're ready to start thinking about taking off these um, brake drums and I'm going to spray a little bit of liquid wrench on them and let it soak in for a minute. And I also found a couple of Toyota special screws to help me hopefully pull off this um, brake drum without any problem. And the screws are part number 90099-04306-83. And it's identified as screw with washer. It's what we call a bolt. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back after we have gotten it to soak in for a few minutes. Okay, we thoroughly coated this with liquid wrench right in here and along where the lug bolts stick out. And so I have these two Toyota bolts that go in here and we're gonna to try to pop this off evenly. So I'm using a 14 millimeter wrench and I'm going to turn these and see if I can't get it to come off pretty easily. seems to be coming. Yep. It's definitely coming off. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is before it pops off, I'm gonna put a towel down here so if it drops, it won't just fall on the concrete. Because it's gonna be a little heavy, I'm sure. There we go. So, we got that off. I'll take the bolts out. I'll go to the other side and take it off. And then, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put a catch tray under here, or an oil waste pan bucket, and I'm going to spray this down thoroughly with some brake cleaning 
material. But I'm going to make sure I'm wearing a dust mask, some gloves, and some safety glasses when I start doing this. And uh, just looking at the brakes right now, nice thick here. But on the inside of this one here, this front leading shoe, it's almost down to the end of its life. Uh, I can see it's quite thin all along here. So this is probably a pretty timely PM to do on this. So again, we'll go to the other side, take that uh, drum off over there, and get all this stuff cleaned up and we'll come right back. All right, so now I'm ready to spray this down. I have gloves on and I'm going to put on my dust mask. I don't think they've used asbestos on brakes for a long time, but I don't want to find out. So you got to put your dust mask on, use a catch tray, and try to avoid getting dust all over you. Okay, and then for the drum, I'll do that. I'll clean that out with some alcohol. And uh, I'll go to the other side now, and I'll do it, and we'll come right back. Okay, we're gonna let this dry now, and then I'm gonna clean this manually. When I get everything pretty clean, I'll be able to take off my dust mask, but not until then. So we'll be right back. Okay, I've taken the drums and I actually washed them off with uh, water because they were just so, so covered in material. But I'm gonna go over it real quick with some of this uh, brake cleaner I have left. I have a little bit left. I'll do both sides uh, and then I'll come back and actually clean them with alcohol on the inside so that I can get them real clean and then I don't have to worry about uh, getting any asbestos or whatever might be on these on me. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll start working on this part. Okay, so I've gotten the drum pretty clean, but I want to clean it a little more. I'm going to use some alcohol and some paper towels and I'm also going to go over this with Scotch-Brite because I want to be able to check the surface. Right now it feels pretty smooth, no deep grooves or anything, just some real tiny superficial grooves. So I don't think I need to turn the drums, so I'm just going to put them back on and the new uh, shoes will, over a period of a few miles, conform to uh, these drums because there really isn't any big grooves or anything. So we're going to clean these up and then we're going to clean up in here and we'll start the disassembly next. So we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to take this uh, spring off, and my goal is to take this shoe off first and set it down here. And as I take things off, I'm going to put them down so that I can uh, reassemble it with no problem. I am wearing safety glasses because these springs are very strong. I actually have a spring tool for this, but I cannot find it, so I'm going to have to try to do that this way. And. I'm not having much luck. So I'll take this spring off, I'll take this off, I'll take this shoe off, and I'll come right back. I gotta figure out how to do it. All right, I've actually replaced the shoes and put this all back together, but I'll explain to you how I took it apart. First of all, I was trying to use needle nose pliers on this spring and they just didn't work. So I ended up using some uh, channel locks or water pump pliers, putting them right here, 
and putting some leverage here and moving it to the point where I could pop the spring out pretty cleanly. So once I got that loose, everything else was pretty easy. These turn a quarter turn. And to do that, I just put this, open it up one notch, put this on here. And while I held the back, turned it a quarter turn. This uh, spring here will come off pretty easily once one of the shoes comes off. Once you take the spring off and this, this shoe will come off and you can set it aside. Here's the old one. And then you can start taking everything apart as far as the star adjuster and all of these items that go in here. Notice this brake cable goes underneath. It's like a fork sticking down. And I had the other side to compare it to to make sure I did everything exactly correct. And when you buy the new uh, brake shoes from Toyota, they come with a replacement. Um, I don't know what you, really what you call this. You squeeze it down, it goes back here. And then the E-ring comes with it too, and that's for right here. I lubricated these pivot points. Everything else seemed to be reasonably lubricated. I don't really want to put a lot of lubricant in where there's brakes. So right now, I'm ready to start putting the drum back on. Everything looks good. Seems like everything is nicely put back together. Um, I did bring this down to its minimum size, so it's a little bit loose. I'm gonna adjust that from the back back here. There's a little plug you pull out, and you're able to put a screwdriver in there, and you're able to move this to the point where you can adjust this, and we'll go over that in a minute. So for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this drum on and make sure there's plenty of clearance. I'm gonna do one final check here, make sure, like that, for example, this spring has to go underneath. Um, again, making sure this cable goes properly. It's a pretty easy assembly, making sure these are turned a quarter of a turn, the uh, E-ring's in place, the other ring, everything looks good. The uh, spring here is in proper place and there's a spring here for this piece and it goes um, under here. You can see it when you take it apart and just make sure you lay all the parts down and then when you put it back together, you should be able to put it back together in the same way. So again, I have brand new shoes, drums all clean. I scotch brighted it out slightly to make sure it was clean and it's smooth inside. So this should fit right on and it does. So I'll put that on there. I'll make sure that it turns freely and it does. So then I'll start adjusting from the other side until um, we get it adjusted and I'll explain how to do that next. Okay, I've reinstalled the drum and I've pushed it all the way down and I'm ready to adjust the little star wheel on the back. You get to it through an access port, you just pull off this little rubber plug and you take a regular flat blade screwdriver and you click it one click at a time and you turn this and you're gonna click it until it just starts to touch the drum and then that's all because it's self-adjusting after that. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we'll reinstall the wheel and we're basically done with this side. We'll move to the other side and then we'll take it out for a test drive and everything should be okay. And that's really all there is to this job. It's pretty easy. And I will bleed the brakes, but on a different video. Thanks for watching.